Yes, then, YouTube, we are back with another video on the Wolf of an Aston Villa podcast. Brought to you by myself, Connor Wolf. Drop this video a like for me. Drop a comment down below. And if you can please hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Also, as you can see on your top left-hand side of your screen, I am proudly sponsored by Luke Roper. So if you do want to get yourself any new clothing or anything like that, check out Luke's website, luke1977.com. Use the code WOLF20 at the checkout for 20% off your whole order including sale items. So, today's video, how do we, Aston Villa and Uno Emery, address our away form? I wanted to have a bit of a conversation with this because, as you will know, we have been unstoppable and unbeatable and even, like, just undrawable at home. Like, 12 Premier League home wins in a row. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But, on the back of Sunday's defeat away at Nottingham Forest, our away form is... Average to bad, really. I'd say bad to average. We are 13th in the away form table in the Premier League. That's really bad. If we have if we have realistic goals of trying to finish in that top six, top four this season, I think top six we can definitely do. I think top four will be tough. But if Uno Emery does have realistic goals of trying to achieve that this season, our away form simply has to improve. It, it just, it simply has to. It's kind of a testament to how good our home form is that we're actually fifth in the league and our away form has been pretty bad this season, really. So, this is what I'm talking about. As we get into the video, I just want to show you our results this season. Starting from the first game of the season. So, Newcastle United away, first game of the season. We lost 5-1. I'm not actually going to focus on that performance too much because, you know, Buendia did his ACL the day before the game or two days before the game. Tyrone Mings, of course, our main centre-back in the team, then did his ACL 10 minutes, 15 minutes into the game. So I'm kind of not going to look into that too much. The away at Hibs, the crap, I'm not going to look into that. This was a good result away at Burnley 3-1. But as we have seen, as the Premier League has gone on now, that Burnley aren't actually that good a team at all. They're actually quite bad. And they kind of play the way that suits us. So we struggle against kind of teams that, I don't say we struggle, but kind of like in that Forest game, if Burnley would have set up like Forest, I think we'd have had more difficulty, especially when, even though we did have chances away at Forest on Sunday, our final ball let us down. I actually thought our build-up play in the game was actually quite good. It was kind of just that final ball. I think in between the boxes, we were actually really good. Like, even defending-wise, we didn't really give up a chance, did we, all game? They scored from 25 yards out and 25 yards out again from a Martinez mistake. So, I think the performance on Sunday wasn't too bad. But if you actually look on the whole, so we've lost, so we've played one. I'll just go in the Premier League, actually. That'll be easy. So, we played one, lost one. Played 2, 1-1, one, one, lost 1. Play 3, lost 2, 1-1. One, one. Now, this performance here away at Anfield, I was, if any of you saw my match reaction, I wasn't happy with this. I thought we were absolutely abysmal in this game. This was a Liverpool team without Van Dijk and Canate at centre-back as well. So their centre-halves were Joel Matip and Joe Gomez. We did not lay a glove on them all game. It was an appalling display. And this is where alarm bells were ringing for me about our away form because it was very similar to the Newcastle away performance, which is kind of what really worried me because like I said at the start of the video, I thought the Newcastle away performance was an isolated game. I just thought, you know what, Mings, Buendia, ACL injury, not what, ha not what you want, but it is what it is. But then the Liverpool game was kind of very reminiscent of that Newcastle game. The high line was getting exposed, but not exposed like it was against Forest because the high line actually didn't get exposed against Forest. I know they got in a few times, but they were offside every time they did get in. So that was the alarm bells ringing for me. And then, of course, the way at Warsaw, we lost, but we played our B team. It's not going to go into that. This was a really good performance, though. So we have now played four away games in the Premier League, won two and lost two. So we've played Chelsea, Liverpool, Newcastle and Burnley. Won at Chelsea, won at Burnley, lost at Newcastle, lost at Liverpool. They're actually quite hard games in terms of away from home when you think about it. In terms of Chelsea and Liverpool, what you would deem in that big six, but I don't even think there is a big six anymore. But then if Chelsea aren't in that big six, you would probably say Newcastle might be because they finished in the Champions League and then we played them away first game of the season. So... Newcastle away, Liverpool away and Chelsea away. They're three very hard games to kickstart your season off in terms of away from home. 100%. If you think now in the flip side, they've got to come to Villa Park later on in the season. And then we drew at Wolves. So we've played five, drew one, won two, lost two at this point. 
Wolves, again, we probably actually deserve to win that game when you think about it. When you think about that, we actually did deserve to win the game. We, I mean, we should have had a stonewall penalty in the 92nd, 93rd minute on the Watkins push. Wolves went 1-0 up, we scored straight away and... It was kind of, I think in the in the grand scheme of things, I think a point was probably about right. But we then deserved to win from the last 10 minutes. And we should have won with the last header of the game. Ollie Watkins hit the post from a header. And then Sunday's performance, Nottingham Forest 2, Aston Villa 0. And this is, this is now what I'm going to talk about. Because I think Unai Emery will be very, very, very unhappy with the way that we have played so far this season away from home. I think I think at home we've been good. I think we've been decent. Oh, well, not decent, sorry. We've been amazing at home. But I think away from home, you would probably say on the whole we've been average at best. So, average at best. So, Nottingham Forest away. That's one game. Wolves away. Chelsea away. Liverpool away. Burnley away. Newcastle away. Six Premier League games. We have now lost... Liverpool, Newcastle, and Nottingham Forest drew at Wolves 1-2. We have lost 50% of our away games so far. Our only three losses in the Premier League, though, which is very good going. And I think this is now over the longer term as well, because apparently in the last 10 away games, we've only won two or three games or something now in our last 10 away games under Unai Emery in terms of in the Premier League. So there is obviously a fundamental issue in the way that we play away from home. And I think a big aspect of this is maybe down to our fullbacks. And what I'm saying is, and a big loss in particular, is Jacob Ramsey. Now, if you think of our left-hand side at the minute, Luca Dean, who I'm very vocal about. I, I think he's been decent. I, th I think he's been good this season, but I don't particularly rate him. And I'm very vocal about the same on the right-hand side with Matty Cash. I like him. I just... I, there's something missing. That I, I, there's just something missing, YouTube. I can't put my finger on what it is. I think away from home, both of these fullbacks get found out a fair bit. And then especially on the left-hand side now, if you think about we've lost the dynamism of Moreno and Ramsey, although Moreno maybe maybe will play on Sunday, who knows. And then Ramsey should be back after the international break. I think the left-hand side losing that dynamism has been a really big factor. And I think we've kind of missed that on the left-hand side. But on the right-hand side, excuse me, sorry, YouTube. On the right-hand side, though, I think there is a fundamental issue with the way that we're trying to set the team up at the minute. So, if you think about it at the minute, what we are seeing a lot of is Bubakar Kamara dropping in, almost playing as like the right centre-back, and then Matty Cash pushing on quite high up the right-hand side. I don't like that because the amount of times that Matty Cash gets the ball and he can't do anything with it because he's not good enough to beat a man 1v1, it kind of really does stifle our attacks a lot. And then if you think about it on the flip side as well, I noticed it a lot on Sunday, actually, like a lot, especially against Forest, like... So much. Neither of our fullbacks could beat a man. And I think that's why the change happened at half time in terms of Uno Emery then dropping Matty Cash back into his preferred right back position and bringing Bailey on to provide that width and 1v1 threat on the right hand side. And I think Moreno and Ramsey missing from that left hand side is such a key factor of that. Because you think of so many games, you think of the Newcastle game last season at home. Moreno's dynamism and his ability to get to the byline is so, so, so good. And Jacob Ramsey's ability to drive with the ball, pick up the ball and just run with it and, and commit plays. He, he's able to make defenders like commit, isn't he? Like defenders and midfielders commit because they know he can run with the ball. So that then creates space for other players to pick up, to pick up space in, right? And I think a big aspect away from home we've lost because of that. So I, I think Uno Emery will be thinking now... In certain games, do we do we go with Carlos Conser and Paul Torres as a back three away from home? If you think the game that we won away at Burnley, that is what we did. We played Carlos in the middle, Conser at right centre back, Paul Torres left centre back, Luca Dean pushing on from the left hand side, and Matty Cash almost playing as like a a right winger from the right hand side, right? Is that something we maybe need to look at? But then I think in games where we don't dominate possession, I don't think Matty Cash and Luca Dean are good enough to beat their man 1v1. And I think we lose a big part of our attacking threat because of that. I much prefer the attacking outlet that we went with the second half in the game against Freud. So I much prefer when we have a winger on the right-hand side and then we attack with the left back and then the right back kind of tucks in as an inverted fullback. I prefer that. I think away from home, at home, I've actually, for some reason, it's not really been a noticeable like thing really at home. I don't know why we've just been so good at home, right? I think away from home when... We go one, and actually, that's a big point that I forgot to mention. 
We need to sort this out. That if you think about Newcastle away, we went 1 0 down in the first five minutes. Liverpool away went 1 0 down in the first five minutes. Nottingham Forest away on Sunday went 1 0 down in the first five minutes. This cannot happen, YouTube. This needs sorting. We, we can't be going away from home in the Premier League and just giving a team a goal in the first five minutes because that makes it our game infinitely harder. You think if we played at home at Villa Park and we went 1 0 up in the first five minutes. You'd kind of at that point think, right, okay, we can have a really good game here. That's exactly on the flip side for us away from home. We just gift goals in the first five minutes. That needs to stop. I don't know whether it's a mentality issue. I don't know whether it's players just not being ready when they come in from half time. I don't know, but that needs so much, so much sorting out there that it, 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 we can't be doing that. We can't be going 1 0 down in the first five minutes of every game away from home. We can't. If you think of the games that we actually haven't lost this season away from home, guess what? We haven't gone 1-0 down in the first five minutes. There's a, there's a correlation. All three games that we have lost this season in the Premier League, we have gone 1-0 down away from home in the first five, six minutes of the game. So, obviously, there's a there's a fundamental issue there that if we go 1-0 down early in the game, we lose, and that needs sorting. But I just wanted to have a little bit of a little bit of this video for you to talk about our, our away form. What would you change, YouTube? Remember, I do reply to every single comment, and I love to hear what you have to say. So, let me know. What would you change away from home? Is there anything you'd change away from home? Do you think Uno Emery is going to try and change some things away from home? Let me know in the comment section down below, YouTube. Please remember to drop this video a like for me. Drop a comment down below. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA Positive Mental Attitude. Peace out. One love. Up the villa.